Hello, and welcome to this lesson on winter precipitation types and how they form. So starting off, we're looking across New York City. Of course, the first thing we need for precipitation, some clouds and moisture aloft. What we're going to see here in a second is some snow form in those clouds. We'll see those ice crystals develop into snowflakes. And what do you need to get that snow to the ground? Well, simply, you just need temperatures at or below freezing all the way to the ground. Pretty simple. So sleet, what do we need for those ice pellets at the ground? Well, starting off this time, we're going to introduce a layer of warm air aloft. Temperatures are above freezing in that layer. So the snow falls into that layer, melts into liquid. Now we have raindrops. But then it falls back into a layer below freezing and has enough time while falling through it to freeze into ice pellets. And that's how we see sleet at the surface. So next we have freezing rain, just what's going on there. Well, a similar idea is happening aloft. We're still going to have a layer of warm air where temperatures are above freezing. So we're going to have snow fall into that layer of warm air, and we're going to see those snowflakes melt once again into liquid. We'll have raindrops again aloft. But this time, as they fall into the layer of air below freezing, it's much thinner than before. So it doesn't have time to freeze before it reaches the surface, and instead freezes when it hits the ground, and that's freezing rain. Lastly, we have plain old rain. As you might suspect with this, pretty simple at least, that layer of warm air basically extends all the way to the ground. So the snow falls into it, melts into liquid again, we have those raindrops, and simply has nowhere to freeze again because temperatures are above freezing all the way to the ground, and that's how you get plain old rain. So thanks for watching this quick lesson on winter precipitation types. We hope to do more of these in the future.